Hey, I've been goofing around with rope for a little while now in projects. I've used it for handles for chests. Um, I've even used it as drawer poles. And a while back, I made a little tea chest with a little ebony, ebony clasp handle that I attach with cord. So that's always been in the back of my mind. Um, and I tend to reuse details of my furniture quite a bit. So I was making a side table recently. It's a little tiny thing. It's actually can be kind of a portable table. So I thought, well, on the little side stretchers of the table, I'll go ahead and wrap some cord around them to kind of treat them more as a handle than a stretcher. Um, that's what I've got set up right now. I want to show you how to do it. It's a really easy process. Uh, what I'm using here is a four millimeter hemp cord. Um, I looked around quite a bit for material. Um, I didn't want like a standard kind of like rope that was really kind of bristly and tough. This stuff is a little bit fuzzy, but it has a soft feel to it. It's got a really nice neutral color to it. Um, it comes in a lot of different sizes. For this, the four millimeter, um, I think it works pretty well. And I'm just gonna wrap um, a little side stretcher here. And to get going, I just relieved an area where the rope is going to be so the rope wasn't sitting on top. It was just sort of inset, almost flush, but a little bit proud of the surface. Um, so the wrapping technique, I actually picked up when I was making fishing rods. Uh, as an after school job in high school. It's the same wrapping technique. There's a name for it. I don't know what it is, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, so I'm working, the important thing here is that when I start the wrap, I want to wrap over one end of the cord a little bit to hold it in place. I'm gonna do the same thing at the end. So that means on whatever face those little ends are, it's a little bit bumpy. So the only thing I made sure of when I was making this table was to make sure those were positioned on the inside face of the stretcher so they weren't seen from the outside. And obviously, it's a heck of a lot easier to do this before I assemble the table. So I have my side stretcher. I pre-finished the areas and the ends um, pretty much as far as they're going to go. I left the area of the rope unfinished and just rounded the corners just a little bit. Okay. Uh, so to get started, all I'm going to do is just sort of lay a length of rope across the inside face. And just to start to wrap over it, um, I'll straighten it out just a little bit. And I'm not worried that it's too long right now because I'll get four or five wraps over it just to make sure it's held in place and then I can go ahead and just trim it flush. I recommend a handmade knife by a blacksmith to do this or an exacto knife. I'm just going to continue on down and again I'm going to stop four or five wraps short of the far end and this is the only it's not a tricky part but it is sort of the, the trick of the process is how do I get the other end of the rope underneath the, the cord um, and I use in this case I'm just using a piece of wire folded into a U shape um, let me see. So let's say that's pretty good. So I'm about four or five wraps in. I have a piece of wire. For thinner twine, I'll often use the material itself as a little loop. But in this case, it takes a little pressure to pull that cord all the way through. So I'm just basically wrapping over the loop, making sure there's enough loop left over on the outside and see if I can get one more wrap in there. That's not too bad. Okay, so what I'm left with is I've got a loop on the outside, which I can thread the cord through. And normally with a thinner stock, I can just pull this through. Uh, in this case, a pair of ice grips help to Kind of get that in there. I 
and just kind of wiggle your way. And as the loop comes through, you'll pull the end of the cord all the way through. Get out your hand forged knife and go and just trim it right between the wraps and just make sure that you're not slicing into the wraps themselves. So that's about it. Not a whole lot to it. It goes pretty quick. Um, I'll use this as a wrap. So this is just a single cord wrap on a handle. And then on the T-box, what I did was I actually uh, used the four millimeter cord to attach the little ebony clasp. And then I wrapped the cord with thinner twine, exactly the same process. So um, it's cool. It has a little different look introduces a new material to your work, sort of gives you a new texture um, to goof around with. Give it a try.